Hello friend, Joe at the office here. Today we're going to go over how to create a fiscal year selector for forms, queries, and reports in Microsoft Access. Most companies, public and private, operate on a fiscal year. The beginning of the fiscal year will vary from company to company, but a common fiscal year runs from October 1st till September 30th. Uh, this is the assumption we'll use today as we build a form that our users can use to pick a fiscal year from a combo box in Microsoft Access and have that action choose um, the dates for two text boxes. One would be the first date of the fiscal year and one would be the last date of the fiscal year. And this is uh, useful for users to run successive reports based on fiscal year date ranges. So let's start with building a table in Access. Um, so I built it already, but let's go ahead and look at what it is. So it's going to be three columns, the fiscal year, which will be uh, like FY19, FY20 uh, format. So four is the field size. The beginning date is a short date. It's the beginning date of the fiscal year and the ending date of the fiscal year. That's pretty much it. Right now it doesn't have any data in it. So we could just go in and type FY20. 10-1-2019, 2020 but that would take a while to get if I want to do 15 years so that this application can be used for the next 15 years. So let's uh, let's show you how to do that in um, Excel. We can quickly do this. So we only have to type it a couple times. So we can do, say, FY10 is 10-1-2019. 2009 and 930 2010 the thing is to propagate this down we need to do two fiscal years in order so let's go ahead and do that 930 of 2011 all right so now that you have two uh, rows complete. We can grab the three columns uh, and uh, our crosshairs and just pull that down, click and drag it down, and we can do as many years as we like. And as you can see, it populates the fiscal year, the name of the fiscal year, the beginning date each year, the ending date each year. And with that, we'll just go ahead and copy, Control C, go back to our access table, select the table, Control V. And now our table is populated with a fiscal year inside of Access. So let's go ahead and save that. I uh, saved it as RTBL, so Reference Table Fiscal Year. Uh, this is just a naming convention that I use based on standard naming convention, but uh, I like the R. If I'm just going to use it for reference. So a normal table, like the one that we have here, would be just TBL, lowercase customer experience so I'll have data in there as well all right so uh, let's uh, let's build the form so uh, I went ahead and created a form called FRM fiscal I haven't created any controls on it yet so uh, that's what I will do now uh, so we need, we're going to need three controls on this. We're going to need a combo box that will hold the fiscal year for the user to select and two text boxes that will hold a beginning date and an ending date. So let's do that. Combo box. All right. Uh, I want the combo box to get values from another table. Let's do that. Uh, I wanted to get it from that table. And we're going to pull in fiscal year. Ascending by fiscal year. So it'll look like this as we bring it in, and we're going to call this uh, CBO FY. The combo box fiscal year, I believe. All right, we'll finish that. Let's go ahead and uh, test it so we can see what it is, and it'll hold the value that we click. Let's go back to the design view. And let's go ahead and do our two uh, text boxes. We'll do a, one here, uh, property sheet, and we're going to call this 
uh, we, we would normally call this txt lowercase and then um, maybe b date but I'm gonna go ahead and just call it b date this text box is a b date uh, control C control V and we're gonna call this one e date for ending date uh, just for sake of time so now we need a, a an event to occur when a user picks this combo box uh, a value in this combo box so combo sorry combo FY forgot to name that so we will go to the event tab on the property sheet when we have this selected and after update is what we're interested in so after update we're gonna build some code Let's give us some space to work with here um, so I went ahead and uh, pre-typed this so we'll just paste it in and then we'll talk about it all right <clears throat> so I put an error handler in here uh, on error go to error cbofy after updates which is right here and it'll just exit so if an error occurs during this it'll just exit that means nothing will work uh, I've dimensioned uh, two variables two date variables a begin date and an end date and then I'm gonna uh, determine what those equal by doing a D lookup so the var bin, uh, begin date is gonna equal D lookup the beginning date uh, from our table fiscal year where uh, the combo box value equals the fiscal year in that table uh, if not is null the begin date then I will have the value of the text box the B date text box equal what we just told it to equal the look look up value the same with the end date or a variable we're just going to look up the ending date from that table using the fiscal year combo box and then we're going to make the text box equal the ending date that we found so that's pretty simple uh, saved it close this out let's go test to see if it works so we need FY14 so I choose FY14 and it selects the beginning and the end date on this form if we went up to FY19 we'll do the same type of thing all right let's try to use this um, these two text box dates in a query so I created a query called query served by date and we'll go and look at it uh, it's gonna be we're gonna need three fields here I have a service date which is the check-in time formatted in the short date format uh, we want to see that then we want to count the experience ID but we want to put in criteria and I can't put in criteria in here um, I put the criteria on a third field where we're going to choose where and then we'll build a criteria build right click build uh, and this is going to be uh, greater than no greater than or equal to let's find the field we'll just navigate here through the forms all forms physical beginning date I'll just select that text box there uh, from that form and then we'll type and it's going to be uh, less than or equal to the end date perfect so now when we run this we're going to see two fields we're going to see uh, grouped by each day of the fiscal year that was chosen on the form where a value exists so 110 and 111 there were 70 customers 88 on the 11th uh, imagine the 12th and 13th were a weekend so 14 15 16 17 18th and we see that there are that number of customers so that's how this works uh, all three components put together the table the uh, form in the query and you get the value that you're looking for so that's about it um, if you appreciated what you've seen please 
put a like and uh, subscribe on your subscribers.